Welcome to Ontario Firewood Resource. We're going to be doing some tree identification today and the species is black locust. And you can see this tree is very easily identical by its mesh bark. It's like a bunch of X's crossing and it's extremely thick quarrels that they have for each of the bark ribs. Uh, this tree is probably about a hundred years old and you can see Beside it, we got some of the saplings here, and these actually come up from the roots. They grow out right out of the root system, and they tend to do that. These trees grow fast, and they become a nuisance at sometimes because they just keep popping up shoots all over the place. We'll get a close-up of the leaves. There's a typical leaf pattern of the black locust. It's got compound leaves, which means leaves are on either side, one across from the other, and they are similar to its cousin, the honey locust. And the honey locust, the leaves, they're a little bit thinner. These are a little bit thicker in the middle, whereas the honey locust, they tend to be a lot thinner and a lot smaller. Right beside it, we've got a few honey locusts. You could tell very distinctly the difference between the two because the bark is almost flat. It's just got some ridges. It's not really uniform, the separate ridges, and it doesn't have much of a 3D form to it. Here's a close-up of the honey locust leaves and these leaves you could see they're quite thinner in the middle sections and these in the spring and fall when they grow in and when they fall out they, they tend to be a really bright fluorescent yellowish kind of color. The Latin name for a black locust is Rubinia pseudoacacia. The height of these trees will grow anywhere from 60 to 80 feet and as you can see these trees have pretty sparse foliage so they're not going to Give you much shade if you have them planted around and during windy storms the branches tend to break a lot of times black locusts will tend to have thorns on their branches just a couple small ones unlike the honey locust which are typically in the wild you'll see them have lots of thorns all over them they're six eight ten inches long and sometimes you'll see the trees that are used as uh, ornament trees in the cities they're a hybrid species that actually produce no thorns I'm in the city of Toronto and I've seen plenty of these trees come down as I'm in the firewood business and I get access to a lot of this stuff and I've never seen any black locust branches with thorns on them. The black locust branches are often used for fence posts because of their longevity and their resistance to rot and they might last 50 years. The black locust seeds are like long curling tassels that kind of look like a DNA strand if you could picture that. It's like a pea pod that kind of curls and twists downwards. These trees attract a lot of bees because of their flowers and the pollen that the bees derive from them. The range of the black forest is the northeastern United States as well as central and eastern Canada. Okay, so I'm back in my firewood yard and we got a bunch of black locusts here. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. We're going to talk all about firewood. Now, now this species of firewood in Ontario happens to be about the third best that you can get. The only species that are better than black locusts is the hickory trees and we tend to have only shagbark hickory and bitternut hickory and then the number one being ironwood. So I'm going to give you a glimpse of what the black locust wood looks inside. You can see it's a little faded. This has been out here for a bit. But I'm going to get out the axe and I'm going to also show you the splitability of this species, if that's a word. But before I do that as well, I'm going to show you its cousin, the honey locust. You can see it's got a bit of a red color, a little bit faded here, but uh, very reddish and then a very light colored sapwood. And you can see there's that very hard, coarse bark that doesn't really have any depth to it at all. It's very thin bark on this tree, but very solid wood. It feels a lot harder than the black locust. Honey locust is not quite the same in terms of heat with black locust, but it's up there at 26 million BTUs per cord. To compare that to oak, oaks are usually about 24 to 25, 26 million BTUs. The heat rating for a black locust firewood is about 28 million BTUs. Black locust splits pretty easily. Piece specifically, you'll see it has two sections growing separate from each other. That you would usually think is gonna inhibit you from splitting the wood because it's got this little knot in it or whatever, this split through it. And you can see there's another stem growing inside of it as well. So you have three stems growing from this one piece, but I should have no problem splitting this open. A lot of times what will happen with this tree is you have a type of beetle, which is in a scarab family, and they deposit their larvae 
inside the tree and then they start eating out the base of the tree. And they're big fat grubs called curl grubs. They're about the size of my finger sometimes. I tend to use them as fishing bait when I find them. tend to cut some 18 inch because most of my customers they have fireplaces so they could take the longer pieces of wood see this has been sitting around for a while because the bark is just dried up between the bark and the sapwood also another thing is if you dry this bark out this makes excellent kindling this stuff really flames up. It gives you a nice good fire. It's good starter wood. As much as it's a hardwood and some woods that are really hard like honey locusts, they take long to light so you don't want to start your fire with them. But this stuff is excellent and even the hardwood and the sapwood itself is excellent for getting a fire going. You'll just see a plume of fire developing on the wood. Let's finish this off. It's almost there, just being stubborn. There we go. Couple more blows, should be all done. It's only giving me problems where that's, those splits were coming from in the center of the tree. This wood's a little faded, but you can see it's got that nice mustardy color. Well, it's got the nice rings on it, very distinct. The bark is relatively thin on this tree, but sometimes the bark, it'll literally be, a whole section will be like this on the tree. When you get these big black locust trees, you'll see this bark and you'll see each of these ribs. If you go like this, it'll fit that whole section marked out by your fingers. So it can be about two and a half inches thick. In terms of dryability, black locust will actually dry within a year, maybe even a little less. Of course, it's best to give wood one year to dry any species, but if you really need to, this stuff can be dried in about six to eight months, depending on how thick you cut the logs. As I was saying before, a black locust has a lot of rot resistance, so this firewood is not gonna rot out like a lot of other species do when they hold moisture or when they sit on the ground and stuff like that. Obviously, it's still a good idea to keep the wood off the ground, keep the moisture off of it anyway as much as it's rot resistant. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something about tree species and thanks for watching and like, subscribe, share, comment and all that good stuff. See you next time.